All right, so we just got into Disneyland around 30, 40 minutes ago uh, before the park opened and we're here. <laughs> and we had to get here early because we're trying to ride the new Star Wars ride, Rise of the Resistance. Thankfully, we got a boarding group. We're number 13, so that's that's extremely lucky. Uh, the boarding groups go all the way to like 100 usually and the park's closing early tonight, so definitely stuck with lucky number 13 today. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to head to Black Spire Outpost on Batu and just chill out and relax. Yeah, get rid of all the anxiety that uh, these boarding groups have given us. Uh, been up since three o'clock this morning, <laughs> <laughs> and it's been wild. It's been wild, but it was worth it. That was about the right time to get up, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Worked out great. It worked out great. But yeah. My duck. Oh, got some ducks down here. Hello, friends. And just like that, we're on another planet. What time does uh, it open over here? Um, so I think the land opens at eight o'clock. But what time does the ride start? Like, does the ride start? It depends. At it depends if they've got um, any uh, kinks in the system to work out. I think some mornings they're not. They've not started until. Uh, nine o'clock, but I saw on a sign that it would begin loading shortly, so hopefully. So nervous all of a sudden. Got some X wings, got some A wings, and Chewie's here, excellent. Always good to see Chewie. <laughs> Heading into the marketplace now. Where it's gonna be nice and cold. Did you want to stand in the sun for a minute before we go in? So we're gonna just go over here by these big service doors and we're gonna sun sun worship for a little bit. There's the sun. Oh, right in the eyes. I feel like we're a bunch of loons this morning. Okay. Hope people find this interesting. I know your mum definitely will. Mom's gonna love it. Yeah. Do you want to go look inside the market or do you want to just stay here I for a bit? If you want to look, I just need like a minute to warm up. <laughs> Is that okay? I'm just so cold. I'm fine. Go see the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we had another uh, stop for some sun. Smugglers run the ride, but I don't really want to risk going on that now. I might get called any moment for uploading groups. I've got to stay alert. So our boarding group has finally been called. Mary's on the way. I'm on the way. It's really exciting. You excited? Yes, I'm scared and excited. And we're just uh, bumping into our two right now. Oh, he's just. All right, we're in the queue. 
you. Oh, 
Nokia didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the boss of the prisoners. Yes, we have a breach in this engine lock breach. Your power is blown. Find an alternate route. Who picked these two droids anyway? Priority alert. Another way down to the escape ports. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Hang the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your assistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know. Staffers, call me. Lieutenant Beck here. Beck, you're alive. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. Alright, so it's been a few hours since we went on Rise of the Resistance. We've had time to mull things over, calm down a little bit. And, wife, what are your thoughts? So... I have to admit that I had watched many ride through videos. Same. That is something I like to do before rides because I get scared and if I like know what to expect then I get less scared. But because I knew that Ride of the Rise of <laughs> Ride of the Resistance, because I knew that uh, Rise of the Resistance had a drop, I kept getting so nervous about the drop during the ride that I was like thinking about it a lot. That being said, it was beautiful. Um, and huge yes. ride uh, yeah. and smooth though like faster than I thought it would be um, like this all the special effects were really cool yeah I had a great time yeah it, it, it was awesome um, all the set pieces were like so detailed um, 
and I think the size of it is what's most impressive because the show building's pretty well hidden. You don't really know where the ride is and then suddenly you're in these gigantic hallways with the AT-ATs and you're going all around this Star Destroyer and it's just, yeah, it's like, where do they, where do they fit it all? It's, yeah. It really feels like you are transported somewhere else. Totally. Yeah, so good job, Disney. Um, yeah, probably not gonna ride it again anytime soon because getting on it this morning was hectic and I feel like we need to let other people go on it. We've, yeah. got, we've got annual passes, so I think one and done for now and we'll wait until it's uh, just like regular queues and fast passes until um, the next time. And by the way, the drop wasn't that bad. No, it's chill, all. it's chill. I it's, like uh, grabbed Simon so hard and was like, <laughs> ah, and then I was like, oh, that's not bad. Still made me tear up a little though. Just yeah. all the panic inside me. But yes, it's definitely an unmissable experience and I would highly recommend it.